talk about a tiny little product uh, which uh, you can use on a daily basis and it's a mandatory thing if you are a, a tourer especially this is called the robot touch ride on uh, motorcycle usb charger so i have been using this for the past uh, past one month about it from uh, uh, snap deal they had a very nice deal for this product because uh, uh, robot touch the company which who produces this product was selling it for rupees 699 or something close to and uh, i saw a listing in snap deal which is uh, which listed the pricing 499 i purchased this product and i applied a coupon and i got this thing for for 60 bucks or something many of you might be aware of the charger called the uh, bolt they have a removable mechanism for the for the usb port which is very cool but you have to pay rupees 1600 for that product so anyway i'm looking for a cheaper alternative i asked few of my friends who are uh, who are already using this product and they said yeah it's fine it's a very good product and uh, the only problem you face is the you have to be you have to keep it on your bike always so okay if some some strangers may <laughs> charge their phone from it anyway i'm not sure about that this is the spec you can see if you can see the input is 12 volt dc and output is 5 volt and uh, 1500 mh the okay, thing is this charger will charge your phone uh, for the first 1500 mh in a quicker manner and then into tickle mode but from my experience uh, it, it is charging the phone in a slower manner unlike your wall charger like my phone has about 3000 mh battery and uh the wall charger used to charge it in couple of hours twice to call most uh, uh four or five hours or more they're providing one year a warranty for this product in a replacement manner and all you are paying for this is about 500 or 550 bucks and this is bang for the buck so there's only one port as you can see only only one port it is usb female port and there is a tiny red led it will glow if you plug your usb cable into it and connect it to the device which gets charged like in this case the phone and it has nothing to do with the ignition it is connected directly directly to the battery you can see the this is the this is the wiring this is the wiring It's running under this tank and goes straight into the battery and it is there's no polarity you can uh, it, it is just two two wires uh at the end of this wire like a black wire and a red wire uh you can uh, connect it to either poles of the battery you can install it yourself that's what they said but i couldn't do it myself uh because the bike the bike is a uh, as you can see tightly packed engine and tightly packed uh wiring harness so uh i had to visit the service to do this wiring because they they removed this tank they had to lift this tank and the wire was running under this tank and then battery boxes are here this thing comes with three or four mounts you can mount it on your uh rear view mirror like in this nut you can remove and uh, there is one strap type <coughs> talking about quality uh this is made of uh, solid plastic and they are claiming it as water resistant i have used it in in moderate drains and there is no problem uh for the charger or the usb port as well if you buying the charger and placing anywhere on your bike make sure that the usb port is facing downwards if it is raining there are less chances of water uh, to creep creep into this particular usb port so 
your charger will be safe even if you have uh, plugged a USB cable there is very less chances uh, of water creeping into this so I placed it like this and uh, this feels like a part of the switch unit if you people ask me whether uh, it comes with a bike or not I said no it's an accessory but so it is, it is well camouflaged and people don't understand what that thing actually is so peace of mind that's it so that's about the charger and of course it's not a paid review I, I just paid for this product and I felt it is good so I thought this will be a good thing for you as well